Hello, Anime Nyan here, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to install uh, content into the DAZ 3D library. We can also use those 3D models in other software, such as Blender, by importing it through Diffeomorphic, or Unreal, such as importing it through the DAZ to Unreal plugin. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, what are the prerequisites? So, um, first of all, you obviously need to have installed DAZ Studio. So first of all, if you don't have it already, just go to Daz Studio, uh, click on that first link here, click on Download Studio, and then just log in, um, make a free account and log in, press Download Now, and then pretty much just open up Daz Central and install uh, Daz Studio uh, from the prompts that come up. Okay, second thing you need, you really, really need, that's it, very, very important for this, so uh, just pay attention here, is Daz Install Manager. Okay, so click, uh, just search this up in Google and click on the first link here. Okay, again, you're gonna have to log in with your Daz account. If you don't have one, sign up for one and just log in and then you'll see this free download button. So you'll be able to download and install Daz Install Manager. Okay, this is very important for installing our plugins. Okay, uh, third thing that you want for this tutorial is 7-Zip. So just type in 7-Zip to Google and click on the first link here and just download and install the version for your operating system. So I would be downloading 64-bit for Windows. Let's get to the task now. So we have these three uh, add-ons that we want to install into Daz, okay, or con these three pieces of content. So um, there are two methods of installation, okay? So the first method is through Daz Install Manager. Let me show you Daz Install Manager first. So Daz Install Manager is this thing right here, okay? So you pretty much just tap the Windows key, you search up Daz Install Manager, and you click on it, and you'll get this Daz Install Manager here. Okay, so we do want to generally use the Daz Install Manager because if you install something through the Daz Install Manager, it's going to appear in your smart content library. Um, otherwise, it'll just, if you don't use this method, it's still going to appear in your library, but only in just like the um, library itself, I believe. How can you tell if you can use the DAS Install Manager method? Okay, so it's pretty simple. So if you just open up one of these zip files here, you should be able to see a content folder at some point, okay? You'll see a content folder, and you should see that there should be a manifest.dsx file and a supplement.dsx file. So this one obviously doesn't have it. So this one here, we cannot install with the Daz Install Manager plugin, okay? So let me show you another one. So let's open up this Active Laundry for G8F, and let's open up, well, a small hint is usually they start off with IM000, if it can be installed with Daz Install Manager. Usually, I won't say always, but it can be, okay? And you can see that obviously we need to open up this second zip file here because there's nothing in here. So now you can see that there's a manifest.dsx file and a supplement.dsx file inside this one here. So this first one here, Active Laundry for G8F.ra, like that one right there, um, can be installed with Daz Install Manager. Let's check this second one right here. So let's double click on it with, uh, to open it with 7-zip, and we'll double click again. And you can see that we can, uh, we can obviously install these two with Daz Install Manager, okay? Because it has a manifest.dsx file and a supplement.dsx file as well. So this can be installed with uh, Daz Install Manager. Okay. Um, but this final one, obviously, we checked it before, but you have the content folder here, and there's no manifest.dsx file, and there's no supplement.dsx file. So before I do that, what I'm gonna do is, is my preferred method is I'm just going to make a new folder for each uh, zip file uh, before I unzip it, okay? So I'm just going to pretty much drag this active laundry for G8F into the .ra, uh, .ra file into there. Okay, let me just close it in 7-zip first and try it again. Perfect, okay, so you can see here that I have that here. This is, the reason why is because when I just uh, right click uh, on that file there, show more options, 7-zip extract here, you can see it's gonna create a mess, okay? So this is, it creates a mess, and I don't want all this mess because these are just the preview images right here, and I don't want them. So I'm just going to delete, in fact, everything here. So I'm just gonna shift select all these other ones. I'm gonna delete them all, except for this IM file because remember, this is, we, we just have this here, and it has the manifest.dsx file, supplement.dsx file, and content. Okay, so it has these uh, things right here. Just We just need one layer, we don't need two. Okay, so that's why you need to make sure to unzip anything until you get just one layer of files inside the zip file here. This is a zip file. Okay, so let's create another folder for the active laundry performance. 
textures. And the reason why I create another folder is because it just makes it simpler. It makes it less, uh, more organized, I guess. So again, what did we do? We did right click, show more options, seven zip, extract here. Okay, this extract here button. Okay, and let us just delete these two files because I can tell this is a preview file because it's basically a JPEG and JPEGs are not um, kind of content, I guess. So if we just double click to open this up, we can see there's a manifest.dsx file and a supplement.dsx file directly there, just one layer in. And yeah, and we have the content file, a folder right here as well. So these two are ready for a kind of installation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to grab them out of the folders now, now that we've kind of cleaned them up. And okay, so these two, these two files right here, and I'm just going to go to DAS Install Manager. So again, what did I do? I just opened it up. So I just search up DAS Install Manager. I click it. Now, what do we need to do? We just need to click on this top right cog right here. Okay, this top right cog, advanced settings. Okay, so um, from here, what we can do is we can go to the downloads and we can just click on this downloads thing right here. Okay, so um, what we can do here is we can just click in the empty space here, right? So we just click here. And you click, so basically you can just widen your bar out to click more easily. Um, let me just make this window larger as well. So if you clicked in the empty space to the right of the bar right here, so you can see if you click right here, then it will highlight this entire address bar right here. So in the empty space, if you try to click on something else, like right here, it's not gonna uh, highlight the bar, okay? It's in fact, it's gonna go back a folder. So make sure you click here and you just go control C, okay? So what do we do again? So the package, package archive, we cl click on these three dots, okay? Click on the empty space to highlight the address bar, control C. Okay, from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to right click and I am going to open in new window, okay? So I'm gonna right click on my C drive, open a new window. So I've got another two windows here, okay? And what I'm gonna do is again, I'm gonna click in the empty space to highlight that address bar and control V to paste this and just press enter. Okay, so you can now see that I'm in my downloads thing. So I can put both of these um, zip files here. I can just control X to cut it by pressing control X and I can click in here and press control V to paste it. Okay, so that's fantastic. Now what we can do here is I can just close this window here and I can also cancel right there. And what I can do is I can just press this refresh button right up there. And you can see now that I have two products that are ready to install. So I can just click on this uh, tick box here and press start queue and both of those have been installed. Easy as that, easy as pie. But you might be like, hey, wait a second, we haven't done this third one yet. Good question. So this method needs to be installed with the second method, which is manual installation. So all we need to do here is grab this zip file here and we are actually going to put it in its own folder again. So let me just put it in its own folder because I can tell you that it's stuff becomes a mess very, very quickly if you do not organize it. So let me just right click, show more options, uh, seven zip extract here. Okay, and yep, you can see that it's all extracting itself. And we have this content folder here. So you wanna be on the lookout for this content folder here. And in fact, what you need in, is inside here, the inside the content folder, okay? So you wanna uh, basically, um, what we wanna do is open up Daz Studio first. So I'm just gonna open up Daz Studio. Okay, and I'm just going to, it doesn't really matter if you connect or not. Um, but basically what you wanna do is you wanna open up your Daz Studio formats library. Okay, so can you see how this second one here has a triangle on the left, right? So you want the one with the triangle on the left and another way to check because if you look at this my Daz 3D library here, it doesn't have a triangle on the left, right? So it has nothing inside of it basically. Um, but this one has content inside of it. That's why you wanna open it up. And plus another way to check is where is your Genesis 8 female kind of thing. If your Genesis 8 female is in this folder, you should be using this my Daz 3D library because you can see my Genesis 8 female is in this my Daz 3D library. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna right click on this my Daz 3D library that we're using I'm gonna to go to browse to folder location. So let me do that one more time for you. Right click, browse to folder location. Okay, so this is gonna get you this uh, new window here. And let me, let's, let's just compare these two folders here. Can you see how there's a data? In fact, let me just bring this um, over here. Let me just bring this here. 
Okay, so can you see how, let's compare these two folders here. Can you see how this, there's a data folder in this Grace Yong um, add-on folder, and there's also a data folder here. There's a people folder here, there's also a people folder here. There's a runtime folder, there's a runtime folder there. So all we need to do here to install it is very, very easy. We just uh, select all this here, control C to copy, and we just go control V to paste. Okay, and if there's anything you need to replace, just press replace. And boom, you've manually installed all your DAS content. Okay, so all we need to do now is, sometimes you need to close DAS, I'm just gonna close DAS, and I'm gonna open it again just to be safe. Okay, so as we can see here, if I just open up this folder here, I open up people, and I open up uh, Genesis 8 female, and I open up the characters, you can now see that in this content library here, we have Grace Young.